Hello besties. I have been meaning to redo my bookshelf as you can see behind me and this is the done version. You will see the befores and after shortly but nothing made sense on my bookshelf and today you will see me make my bookshelf work for me and redo it all. Have the series in the right places, kind of categorize them a little bit. I have a small bookshelf so I haven't been able to put everything exactly where I would want it to be but this works for me and I'm excited to get into it and i suppose i'll just let you watch the video i hope you enjoy and thank you for being here now the way i organized everything is i just kind of strewn everything all over the floor and put them in piles and then kind of organized them into specific piles of the genres and the vibes and then i put them on the bookshelf where i thought they belong my shelf before was a little bit of a mess it wasn't the worst i kind of like how it looked but as I organized everything by color basically and vibes, things just got messy and I was just trying to fit things in where they would fit in the end. It just needed a bit of a reorganization, a little bit of a shuffle. Um, and so I started with all the stuff on top of the shelf because I really wanted to redo this upper part and hopefully have it as more of a bookshelf along with my trinkets and plushies because I do love that kind of thing. Reading has slowly become my, well I say slowly, has quickly become one of my favourite hobbies and I absolutely love collecting books and being able to put them in a gorgeous bookshelf and look after them. And honestly, I change my bookshelf around every few months because it's just another hobby, you know? One hobby is reading, the other hobby is buying books and trying to put them somewhere. As you saw before, I had a pile of books on the floor because I didn't have anywhere to put them. Luckily, with all the rejigging of this bookshelf, I was able to make them fit somewhere, but I definitely don't have room for many more books at all. And this year, I've kind of put myself on a book buying ban. I've bought two books, physical. I'm fine on buying Kindle, but I have I'm trying not to buy physical at the minute because of um, the lack of space, <laughs> I suppose. Um, two books, not too bad. Frankenstein is a thin little book and then the Night Circus was the other one, but it fit in, it fit in. So I'm just taking everything down and kind of organizing them into piles, like I said. And I mean, there's so many books in these piles that I'm so excited to get to. And I've been feeling recently like I just don't have enough time to get through all of the books that I want to read. Like, I just want to be able to consume them all and know everything that happens in them and enjoy them at the same time, but also get them read and done so I can know how they were, if that makes sense. And I've been craving just reading all of them at once. And obviously that is not viable. So I'm, I'm chipping through my TBR slowly. It's a struggle when you're reading series. Like at the minute I'm reading the Crescent City series and I need to reread the first two books so I can even remember what's going on so I can start the third. That's kind of what's going on. And I reread Akatar last year and then Throne of Glass at the beginning of the year. I've been craving rereading the Dark Academia reads, especially Secret History and If We Were Villains, you know, the iconic two. I have a bunch of like literary fiction books down here that I haven't gotten to which I really want to get to at some point but I just haven't been in the mood for it and I've also got a stack of classics that I haven't started yet and so I wanted to put them somewhere where I could see them because this was my TBR cart and as you can see it's the bottom layer of the cart and I never looked at those books <laughs> I never noticed them or reached for them so I need everything on my one bookshelf to figure out what I need to read and be able to go through. I'm very much a, a mood reader as well so it can be tough when reaching for books because I have to be in the mood to read them um, and that can be really annoying sometimes but um, having them all available <laughs> and organized will really help with that I think. 
and that was really sad with it falling over but <laughs> we move book stacks are gonna be stacking it i suppose while we're here we may as well do a little february reading wrap up of everything that i read in february and i read a lot so i suppose we'll just get into that i read 10 books and the first one of the month we'll go from the beginning to the end of the month was electra now i loved electra i love greek mythology and i love that we are recentering women within these greek myths it is about the house of atreus the cursed bloodline story and and it features Clytemnestra, which is the sister of Helen, wife of Agamemnon, Cassandra, who was a princess of Troy and cursed by Apollo, and she was a seer, and then Electra, who was the youngest daughter of Clytemnestra. And this was such an interesting story, and I had heard the original myths in passing, but not in detail, so it was really interesting to read this and become acquainted with the myths this way. The next one was Cursed Crowns, and this was the sequel to Twin Crowns, this series is just really fun. It had me kicking my legs and giggling the whole way through. It's a really fun time. I then read House of Earth and Blood and I have been, as I mentioned, rereading the series so I can read the new book that came out. Five stars. I cried. Oh, my third reread. Always loving it. Then I read Gothicana, which I gave four stars. I love the Dark Academia adult book. It had spice. It had the academic setting. It was like a supernatural kind of feeling to it. I, I'm obsessed with the vibes of this book. I would like to experience more of that. I then read Nettle and Bone, which I gave three stars. I don't really remember much of this except that there was a quest and found family along the way of the quest. And it was just a fun time, but not very memorable. I then read Iron Widow, a 4.5 stars. I was obsessed with how the author blends the Chinese history with like a futuristic mecha science fiction. And that was really fun and like nothing I've ever read before and I ate that up. I then read A Study in Drowning which I gave four stars. I was sold this as a dark academia book and to be honest I feel like it's more of a dark fairy tale than a dark academia book but the, there is an academic setting and academia throughout. It's just kind of a bit more fairy tale, in my opinion. Did really enjoy though. That was a very fun read. And then I read A Deal with the Elf King, which was a 3.5 stars. Just a fun read. I really enjoyed the dynamic between the main characters and the story and how the main character really found herself within this. And I didn't realize that this was a series. So we'll see if I read the next ones. And the last one I read which wasn't wasn't my favorite the virgin suicides i gave it a one star and i wrote a little journal entry about it and i, I guess one of the sentences female suffering written through the male gaze kind yeah yeah didn't enjoy wouldn't recommend i know it's like a cult classic but not for me we are getting to the end of organizing these shelves and I'm very, very excited. February was a great reading month and also amazing because I got to reorganize my bookshelf. I'm just adding in the little finishing touches. A lot of these books down here I have not read and a couple of them are arcs because I found some arcs in a charity shop. I've got these hollow vows and shadow and bone, the arcs, which is very exciting. And I wanted to work on my top shelf and of of course I needed to have a Greek mythology area mixed in with classics. I feel like that really worked out nicely and they fit so well. It's nice to finally have a place to kind of display them all. And then I have my special edition books right next to them. I also have this little reading cart that had like the empty bottom shelf. The rest of it's used for like journaling supplies and stuff. And I just filled it with my non-fiction stuff and spiritual books because I thought that worked quite well. I needed a place for these books. And here we are, the final piece, the beautiful bookshelf. We have my classics and my Greek mythology at the top alongside the beautiful special editions and all of my little trinkets on the top with the plushies. Then have my fantasy section below that, which I love, favorite shelves. Then my dark academia slash thriller, psychological thriller kind of area. I know there's like other things mixed in there, but just let me have it. <laughs> I don't know where else they would go. 
and then have my literary fiction and stories based off of things on the next side and then more kind of literary fiction and then YA fantasy at the bottom I think but I love it let me know what you think in the comments and I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I shall see you in the next one bye